of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Wisconsin has not been kind to Illinois basketball the last decade. The Illini have lost 13 straight games to the Badgers since 2011. The average margin of defeat in that time sits at nearly 14 points per game. But alas, another chance tonight to end the longest losing streak to an opponent in program history for the Orange and Blue. Aaron Jordan back in the starting lineup and con contributing early. This three gives the Illini their first lead of the game at 10-8. But Khalil Iverson and the Badgers uh, doing work here. Ethan Happ with the pass to Iverson for the slam, 8-2 run for UW, but Illinois fighting tough all night, thanks in large part to the big man freshman, Georgie Bashanishvili, backing up the All-American in half to tie it at 18, and then a three from Dimitri Trice here as Wisconsin, putting up punches all night with the Illini, but once again, here come the orange and blue, and it's DeMonte Williams with the three ball to get the crush going. Then right before half, once again, it's Bashanish Philly, the left-hand little baby hook down in the paint, once again over half. And Illinois heads into the half, just down two, 32-30. Here's Trice again with a pretty finish to put the Badgers back up five. But Trent Frazier, what a play from the super sophomore and one. He'd make the free throw as well. Illinois smelling upset all night, but Ethan Happ finally gets going in the second half. Just his fifth point of the game at that point. And and then Georgie B one more time. The spin move down low looking good, but not enough as Illinois falls 72-60. The final Illini now just 5-14 and 14 on the year. Nate Reavers, 22 points. He was the star of the night. Hap did not have a good night at all. And there's Bishanishvili with his 20 points to lead the Illini. Let's head right back out to State Farm Center where Marley Weirda joins us now. And Marley, the Illini put up a fight, but once again, it's kind of the same story we've seen all year. Not able to finish down the stretch. Yeah, Brett, time and time again, it seems like that the Illini are able to compete with these high major teams, but they're just missing that little bit extra to get the win. There was a little bit of promise there in the second half, but the gap just got wider, wider, and wider. And Ethan Happ wasn't, uh, you know, as big of a threat as he um, probably was expected to be tonight. He only had nine points, although he did get into some foul trouble tonight. But Georgie Bashanas really, what a night for the freshman. He had 20 points. He led the Illini. Uh, Trent Frazier was a little MIA in the first. Uh, he did kind of come back to life there in the second half, but he only finished there uh, with nine points. Uh, but the Illini, they only shot 35% tonight, which was actually worse than they did in Iowa, and they only made four out of their uh, 21 three-pointers. So I talked about that little bit extra that they were missing, so that was probably what it was. Uh, they'll face Maryland next, who is number 13 in the country. They'll play them at Madison Square Garden and the Illini uh, have have faced uh, ranked teams before so this won't be the first time that they're playing an opponent like Maryland. Brett, we'll send it back to you. All right, Marley, thanks so much. We'll have Brad Underwood's live postgame press conference coming up on Facebook Live. Hope you can join us there. All right, on the high